Grizzly has been around the woods of King's Dominion ever since 1982, where the ride was built in-house by King's Dominion staff and designed by Curtis D. Summers. Just last year in 2022, the ride recently celebrated its 40th anniversary. And this year in 2023, we're doing something a little special for it. We've invited our friends at the Gravity Group to help come in and do some work and a bit of reprofiling and track work to help the ride be smoother, faster, and overall more thrilling. Let's hear what they have to say. On the Grizzly Coaster, the Gravity Group is doing quite an extensive amount of work. For starters, we're working on the retracking, the section that is coming off the high turnaround over there. We're coming down and you actually go over the first, there was like a bunny hop there, into the tunnel, coming out, another little bunny hop into what is called the fan turn and going up over to what the crossover is, the bridge. Uh, we are also doing another section. I think there's something missing over there. We're here at the Grizzly First Drop, or what used to be the first drop. And we're gonna make a few changes here. For starters, uh, I am standing more closer to what is gonna be the valley. And uh, the actual existing roller coaster, like I mentioned earlier, uh, it was built higher than its clones at other parks. Therefore, we had the ability, instead of making the first drop taller, we're just able to make it go lower to the ground. In order to do that, uh, we're actually making the angle descent from a 45 degree angle to about a 55 degree angle. So you'll feel a little bit more speed and a little bit more pop out of your seat uh, coming down that first drop. We're actually gonna build up this structure along this side and what we call in the terms is batter over. We're actually gonna put supports up against the wood, the, the posts up there to support the, the bunny hill. And what all that'll do is that as you're coming down the hill, you're actually gonna be going through structure, uh, which is gonna create a, a more unique, you know, kind of a head chopper effect with, with the ride. And then this is where we're really gonna restore the roar. Come down that first drop, and for me as a kid, I absolutely loved this ride back when I rode it in, when I was 13, 14 years old. That was in the 90s. I'm 42 right now. Um, and the one thing I remember about was, you know, it felt like it was such a, eh, eh kind of a, here we go, slow off the turnaround, and then the sucker just took off and didn't let go until you hit the brakes. So what we did is we actually lowered by just a couple feet the hill coming off the long turnaround, the slow turnaround. And so you're gonna get a nice little pop of air there. And then you're gonna go down into the valley and then you're gonna come out just like the old Grizzly did into a nice, awesome little airtime hill where you're coming, in a you're coming out of a turn, you're up in the air and then you come back down and then this fan turn, we kept the same because I think it's just an iconic part of this ride itself. So what we're trying to do is actually, we, we kind of re-centered and repro we rebanked some of the turn. We changed the center line just ever so slightly using a lot of my roller coaster knowledge. And uh, we're gonna make it a lot smoother going in and out of the fan turn. And uh, you hit this valley and, and the rest of the Grizzlies pretty similar. We developed a new track system called Precut Engineering Track. It's not the most exciting name, but it is it is what it is. It's a Precut Engineered Track, and what that is exactly is we took what traditional track is. Is basically I'm using my my surveying notebook here, and uh, most traditional roller coaster track. Uh, wood coaster is in this direction where and this is called the weak axis or weak direction for engineering students out there or engineers out there and uh, the weak axis you can you can bend it you can tell that I'm able to push and pull my book into a, a different direction you can do the same thing with a book of, uh, with a deck of cards so at the gravity group what we did is we actually 
made the wood in this direction, which is called the strong axis or strong direction, and you can tell I can't, I can't do, I can't move it, I can't bend it at all. But the pre-cut track will actually increase um, because there's less of that deflection, means there's less wear and tear on the trains, there's less wear and tear on your structure. So uh, over time, it means just a lot less maintenance that, that needs to happen. I measured using high-powered measuring equipment the center of the track at different locations. I put it into one of my computers that, uh, a computer program that's very powerful. I push a button and it spits out how to make the ride smoother. Uh, what we need to do to make it a more enjoyable experience. So I give that perfect shape to uh, another engineer at the company who will actually manipulate all that data, put it into a, another big machine that cuts the perfect shape of the track uh, for the roller coaster.